Today I'm going to show you how to download a model from Maker World, which is Bamboo Labs online model repository, and then how to slice the model using Bamboo Studio, and then finally print the model. You've noticed that whenever you load or unload filament, the A1 Mini spits out a little ball of plastic off to the side. To collect those balls of filament, we're going to print a bin that will sit off to the side of the printer. In Maker World, if you haven't already done so, first create an account. It's free. And then we're going to search for A1 Mini Poop. Those little balls of filament are commonly referred to as poops. When we do our search, we see there are many options here. Feel free to choose whichever one you wish, but I'm going to select this one here, Poop Bucket Light for A1 Mini by DDW Maker. I'm going to click in the middle of the photograph and there's the model. And you can see there are different versions available for different printers that Bamboo makes. We're gonna be printing on the A1 Mini, so we'll select that. And even after we do that, we see that there are two options. The first one, if I hover over it and take a look, it was released on December 18th, 2023. It takes two and a half or 2.3 hours to print and it has 4.8 stars and 38 ratings, which is pretty good. Hovering over the second one, we see that it was released on December 25th, so this is a more recent version, and that it has a 4.9 average rating, which is even better. So we'll go ahead and click on that one to select that, and then we have options. We can open directly in Bamboo Studio, if I click the down arrow, we can also download the 3MF file, and we can also get the STL files. So we're going to look quickly at each one of these options. The easiest one is to click Open in Bamboo Studio, and then Allow, and the file is automatically opened in Bamboo Studio with all of the settings preset by the creator. I can tell that some of these have been changed. You'll see that strength is highlighted here and that the reset icon appears for detect thin wall and for sparse infill patterns. So a couple things have been changed, presumably to improve the quality of the print. So that's the easiest way to get a model into Bamboo Studio. But I'll close this and discard modified settings. Looking at the next option, we can download 3MF file. And if I look at my downloads folder, you can see the 3MF file here. If I double click that file, it will open in Bamboo Studio, again, with the modified settings in place. The difference between a 3MF file and an STL file is that the 3MF file not only includes the model itself, the STL, but it also includes the slicer settings. So once again, I'm going to close this, discard the modified value, and now I'm going to take a look at how to get STL files. It tells me to open the 3MF file in Bamboo Studio and then click File, Export, Export All Objects as STLs. So I'll say OK. I'll go back to Open in Bamboo Studio, Allow. Now if I click File, Export All Objects as STLs, in this case there's only one STL, but if there were multiple STLs, on this plate, they would all be exported as individual STL files. I'll click that, save it to my downloads. And when I look in downloads, you'll see that there is indeed an STL file. I can edit this STL file in any computer aided design or CAD program. For instance, in Tinkercad, I could import this model into Tinkercad and add to it or subtract from it and re export it as an STL file, slice it, and print it. To bring an STL file into Bamboo Studio, click the Add Model icon. I'm going to choose the STL file and click Open. Now I can make any changes that I want to the print settings and then click Print Preview. And I'll see the sliced file with an estimate of the print time. Here, that print time is 2 hours and 21 minutes total. In this case, though, I'm not going to export this version of the file because I want to use the one that the creator supplied, assuming that he determined the optimal printer settings. So I'll go back to Prepare, select the model, hit the Delete key to remove it. Now I'm going to click Add again, and this time I'm going to choose the 3MF version and click Open and you'll see that the changes 
have also been imported. I'll click Slice Preview, and two hours and 21 minutes is still the print time, the same, but there are some slight changes that presumably will make for a better print. Now on your keyboard, you can hit Command G to export a file, or you can go to File, Export, Export Plate Sliced File. You can see the shortcut is Command G. I'm going to shorten the model name, and I'm going to add the print time because I like to know how long a print takes. Two hours, 21 minutes. Save it to my SD card and click Save. Now if I look at my SD card, I can see that indeed the file has been saved there. And you'll notice the extension is .gcode.3mf. I'll eject the SD card and then plug into my printer and print the file. Okay, so at the printer, I'll reach behind and turn it on and then insert the SD card upside down with the gold side facing upwards. Click it into place. For this print, I'm going to be using PLA Sparkle, Royal Purple Sparkle. Put the roll on the spool holder so that the filament is coming up from the bottom. Make sure it has a clean cut edge or end. Feed it up the tube as far as you can go. I'll tap close on the screen. I'm tapping filament and edit. I'm going to choose Bamboo Lab filament because it's from Bamboo. It's PLA basic and the color is sort of a dark blue. And OK. And load. Before you start the print, for this particular print, it probably will be a good idea to use some of Bamboo Lab's liquid glue, spread it around, and especially where the corners of the print will be, because this will be a large, flat model when it's printed, and we want to ensure that the corners don't warp or raise up during the print. Just a very thin coat will do. You don't need a lot of it. And it is water soluble. It washes off with water, so it's very easy to clean up afterwards. The screen says to push new filament into the extruder. I'm going to put my fingers in back here just to see if I can feel it going in. It stopped, so I'm not sure that it did. I'm going to tap retry and I can feel the filament going in. You won't see much coming out of the nozzle, but if you can feel it being pulled in, then you know you're okay. So I'll tap done, and the printer is now purging old filament. You should see some coming out of the nozzle. And you can see the little poop filament that was spit out the side. Loading is complete, so I'll tap back, tap on print files. In this case, there's only one file, on the SD card, the bucket, two hours and 21 minutes. So I'll tap that. It says high bed temperature may lead to filament clogging in the nozzle. Please ensure ventilation for the printer. We've got plenty of ventilation, so that's good. Enabling traditional time lapse might lead to defects. Continue. Sure, that's fine. And I'm going to tap print, and the print will start. We'll come back in a few minutes to make sure that the first layer is going down nice and flat and smooth. And if it is, then we'll return in two hours and 20 minutes or so to see the finished print. And there you can see the finished print. It's had time to cool off, so it just slides right off. And it will just sit right here on the table beside the printer and catch any and all future poops that are spit out from the nozzle.